One man is alive tonight thanks to the quick actions of two Medford Athletic Club employees. Incredible paramedics say the man suffered a heart attack after playing racquetball at Superior Athletic Club on Carterley Avenue. But thanks to the employees, he's home tonight with his family. NBC5's Cassie Nelson has the story. Well, it was just another day for two employees here at Superior Athletic Club, but as they were heading out the door after work last Monday, things quickly took a turn. The one and two and three, like the staying alive, they all tell you to go to that. I didn't do any rhythm. I just did hard and fast compressions. Superior Athletic Club, this is Angela. Angela Young is an assistant manager at Superior Athletic Club on Cardley Avenue. And today she's being called a hero. I don't feel that way. It's like helping someone. You know, that's what we're supposed to do. Last Monday evening, just as she was leaving work, another employee ran after her, saying a man needed medical attention by the racquetball courts. He'd suffered a heart attack. I dropped to my knees. I felt for a pulse. I had my head down, trying to feel for breathing, and he was, um, he was, he was gone. As Young began CPR, her co-worker, Linda Sorensen, rushed to get the automated external defibrillator. Watching my friend do chest compressions, knew we needed an AED if you don't have a pulse, and the rest is history. Sorensen administered shock, and after nearly 30 rounds of CPR, the man took a breath, then another. When the paramedics came, and I stood up and stepped back, and it's like it just kind of all came into focus, it's like he was gone, and he's here with us now. It's like that was a really... It's a heavy moment. Ooh, would I call it a miracle? Yes, I guess when, whenever a life is saved, absolutely. Young and Sorensen say the three now share a bond unlike any other, and they wouldn't think twice about doing the same thing again. I mean, it's changed all of our lives. This gives you a whole new understanding of how short things are and just how precious life is. The employees say within 30 days of getting a job here at the club, they learned CPR and how to use the AED. And tonight, they're extremely grateful for the refresher courses they receive every two years after that initial training. In Medford, Cassie Nelson, NBC5 News. Cassie, thank you very much. We're told the 71-year-old man is doing well. He's back home with his family tonight. And according to one of the assistant managers at Superior, he won't suffer any long-term heart damage.